So dear participants, we are going to start to talk about business level strategy or competitive strategy options. And before entering into this chapter, we have already covered introduction to strategic management, strategic management process, external environment analysis, and internal environment analysis. So now we are going to be matured enough regarding a strategic management. So what we are going to cover here, what is business level strategy or business level strategies? Business level strategies deal with basically, you know that we have identified five forces, quarter five forces. These all five forces are problems. Just think what you have studied under quarter five forces. You have studied, yes, whether there are new entry trade or not. What about the buyer's power, supplier's power? Who are your uh, competitors? What kind of rivalries are there? Uh, uh, what are the of attitude? So uh, you have identified properly. You have internal environment analysis that you know mission, vision, goals, objectives. You analyze properly. You know strength, weaknesses, and then you have gone through the environmental analysis. You have evaluated all the environmental factors: political, economical, social, legal, technological, and environmental, and then you evaluated your industry, your firm, your product uh, in relation in line with Porter five forces. Now use analysis are there and you know what are the opportunities and threats you have. So this is the time of getting some solutions. What should be the right strategy for your business? And that's why it's a business level strategy. What should be the a uh, uh, right strategy. Now see, we have presented three generic strategies in front of you. What are these? The three generic strategies are either you can go for differentiation, you can go for overall cost leadership, or you can follow focus strategy. Now, what is differentiation? You see, we are using the example of so many electronics uh, products or companies, even we are using the example of mobile that all of you have. Every year, every quarter, we have new mobile, new television, new electronic devices, new camera with different features. Why this is? Is because after studying environment, after studying internal and external environment, we try to understand the taste, preferences, demand of the customers. And to meet the demand of the customers, to meet their taste and preferences, every uh, 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 period, the companies are trying to add some features. So now differentiation is much more related to features. It, it could be size of the product, color of the product, uh, apps or softwares of the product, utility, usability of the product. On the other hand, overall cost leadership. So you can follow different kinds of cost strategies. Your product can be overall cost leaders, like in the market, your product quality is good, but it's the most affordable product. Uh, it's just like uh, McDonald's cases. Uh, what we have seen, that quality is really good, but affordable uh, uh, burgers. And focus is interesting. And you need to remember the segmentation you have started under marketing management. Focus means what? If you are a small enterprise, uh, you can't cover the whole country at the time. 
So you have to focus on a specific area of the market. Or you cannot cover all kinds of products. So you have to focus on a specific product. Or you can be selective. Either you can start a business with child product, male product, or female products. Or you can start your business from either Chittagong, Dhaka, Bashe, or any other place. So you see that focus means you are minimizing uh, your areas. You're focusing on very specific areas, very specific products. Now, three generic strategies. If you see you have a uh, top, if you see the top, then you have competitive advantage. And if you see your uh, left-hand side, you will find a strategic target. Now, divide it into a matrix. So under competitive advantage, we have uniqueness perceived by the customer and low cost position. Uniqueness perceived by the customer. So customers are behind unique products. And really we all are now looking for unique products. I'm regularly checking various kinds of products online before I take a buying decision. It's why? Because I want unique products. But there are some other groups they look for low cost products. On the left hand side, what's the strategic target? You are trying to cover very specific area, very specific gender, very specific income group. So this way, if you think, then we can say it's a particular segment. But if you try to cover the whole industry, you have pharmaceutical product, so you want to cover the whole pharmaceutical industry through your products, then it's industry-wide. We have a suggestion now because we are trying to know about business strategy. What are the suggestions? There are many suggestions. If you want to cover whole industry and same time, if you want to offer unique product, unique features product, unique quality products then what should be your strategy what should be your business strategy just let me know it differentiation differentiation so you see that matrix types of study is really easier than theoretical study the picture is really influencing a lot these matrix help us to understand so easily what should be the right strategy so, yes, Munju pickle, if you want to cover the whole pickle industry in Bangladesh, but same time, if you want to provide some advantages to the customers that your product price should be affordable or at least a little cheaper than any other competitors without compromising the quality, then what should be the right strategy? Overall cost, overall, cost overall cost leadership. leadership. Overall cost leadership. And if you just try to cover only Chittagong and Dhaka, focus, focus if you just want to cover all the girls because you are providing people. Focus. Focus. The three generic strategy is really brilliant. Simply you can find out the answer from this table. Now it's the time to elaborate uh, our discussion. So now, overall cost leadership is based on creating a low cost position relative to a firm's peers. That was I have already explained uh, uh, just a few seconds ago. And that's why you guys, you need to be very keen. You, you should start the newspaper regularly because if you don't have newspaper, if you don't go through newspaper news regularly, if you don't watch business news in the television, if you don't check Yahoo Money, Yahoo Finance, Bloomberg, or, or any other uh, business uh, website, uh, students are checking regularly uh, in Vestopedia uh, for getting business uh, news from online. So if you have a habit of this, then you will be really a very good strategic manager. And I have used the example of uh, pharmaceutical industry earlier, same friend, uh, uh, sorry, same, uh, same university, 
same faculty, same department, two friends. I have CGPA more than 3.5, but one friend salary is one lakh twenty thousand, and another friend salary is only twenty thousand. Why use differences? Even in our time, also there was lots of differences. When I was regional head of Nitul Tata Group, uh, so many of my friends were struggling to get a good job. So it's still the situation is similar. So why it's happening is because you are not studying, you are not uh, uh, reading newspapers, watching television, watching documentaries. So if you really want to provide overall cost leadership, you need lots of study. So two pharmaceutical company, two friends are working. They're from the same department, same faculty, same university, same teachers, CGPA, very much similar, but one who are really acquainted with the environment, with the news, with the information. So he is, uh, 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 he is making a profit at the time of opening an LC because he, he knows that where is the right source or he knows about the, about the uh, exchange rate fluctuations. So he knows about the stock, how many weeks or days he can wait and he can wait it uh, 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 as per optimum level. Uh, he knows from his study that the exchange rate was fluctuating and he opened LC uh, while he can make a difference of taka two, three per dollar. And this way, a friend said near about two crore at the time of opening one LC. So if one can save two crore at the time of opening one LC, so if 10 LC, then 20 crore. And another friend just following the order of the boss. And when the boss ordered to open LC without starting market, without starting the sources of raw materials, without starting the fluctuations of exchange, we just open an LC and each transaction, you see that there is a loss of Taka 2 crore. So who can ensure low cost positioning? Who? The first one or the second one? The second first one. one? The first the one. The oh. first one. Because first one has a study. He studied. He didn't open LC when boss just asked to open LC. He wait because he knows that we have two months of stock in our hand. Shipping time is 15 days. So he has one and a half uh, months waiting time. And he waited two, three weeks and found that oh, exchange rate declined. And it requires two, three uh, taka less than before. So before the exchange rate was taka 85 per dollar. So when he waited, he found that it's taka 82 per dollar. So each dollar taka three he saved, that is called low cost. So low cost means it's not that uh, you are compromising with your quality. Low cost itself requires so many studies, so many strategies. And there are many uh, uh, beautiful, successful businessmen who really save money, who really become cost leader at the time of procurement. And that's where day by day merchandise's demand is really growing. And also, Another guideline for you guys, if you really want to go for overall cost leadership, you must remember the value chain. The value chain, I spent uh, 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 so many minutes on value chain to discuss. Just remember value chain. Can you remember value chain? Yes, yes sir. sir. How many activities were there? Sir, categorized into two primary activities and... Very good. Primary activities and? And subsidiary, yeah. Secondary activities. Secondary activities, sorry. No, no, not secondary. Supporting, 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 supporting activities. Ah, supporting supportive activities. activities. So primary activities and supportive activities. Supporting activities. Now think about, if you don't understand inbound logistics, you can't save money. If you don't understand operations, you can't save. If you don't understand outbound logistics. so. What it says, managing relationship throughout the entire value chain to lower cost. So each and every steps of the value chain will ensure affordable cost because you can ensure quality there. You can minimize wastage and minimizing wastage means low cost. If your machine is really sound, if your people are really brilliant, 
if your transportation packaging is good, so you say that the value chain will help you to reach to overall cost leadership. And differentiation? Differentiation implies products or services that are unique and valued. Differentiation. After spending Taka one lakh, once you buy iPhone, I never found iPhone user to say, I have spent a lot of money, I'm not happy. But I have found so many Samsung users that spend the 25,000 Taka, Taka 30,000, 40,000 on a phone and later says, I have spent a lot, of, I have uh, already spent a lot of money, but I'm not happy, I want to sell it. Just look at this products all services that are unique and valid. So why you go for differentiation? Not for making a product ugly, not for making a product with uh, uh, so many features that people will be afraid of to use all those features. You need another stance. And always try to focus on known price attributes. Known price attributes is like that. You spend Taka one lakh and then you claim that I'm getting benefits of Taka two lakhs. You see that? You spend one lakh and you are so happy with all the features that these features are not a non price attributes. Just think these features, the apps, the security, convincing you a lot. And focus strategy, that word I mentioned, uh, I wanted to use these words. I, I didn't use these. That is the right word. Narrow, narrow, narrow product lines, narrow via segments, narrow the market area or targeted geographic markets. If you really want to focus on very specific product, focus on very specific market or focus on design, focus on gender, focus on education. So it's, it's called narrow product lines, narrow bio segments or narrow targeted geographical markets. So here, when you focus a strategy, it means not that you can't follow differentiation. Remember, you are following focus strategy. It means not that you can't follow differentiation or you can't follow overall cost leadership. You can't follow overall cost leadership and differentiation together with focus strategy. So you are focusing on a specific area like Chittagong, but same time you can have many features of your product. So you can follow together. You're focusing and same time you have differentiation. You're focusing, same time you are cost leader. And it's possible. So it means not that you have to follow only one strategy here. Are you getting that? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. There are so many examples here. Compare companies pursuing an overall cost leadership strategy. I have used the example of McDonald's. There is another example of Walmart. And uh, really, no doubt about these two companies. I'm happy with the examples. And then companies pursuing a differentiation strategy. Yes, Apple is really doing better. Target is also doing better. And no, I, I can't say that uh, it's wrong. It's really good example. And companies pursuing focus strategy is IKEA. They are a furniture company. They, are, they have uh, household products. So they're focusing on only uh, one uh, area. Now, uh, elaborative or analytical uh, discussion. Overall, low cost leadership. So we are the student of the strategic management. We are the participants of strategic management. We must know we are talking about cost leadership, cost leadership again and again. So how can we achieve cost leadership? I have used the example of opening an LC. So there are many other strategies or tips for uh, us about cost leadership strategies. So what cost leadership involves? The first one is 
you see that aggressive construction of efficient scale facilities. So when the word is scale, then you have to remember that economies of scale. Can you remember economies of scale? Yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you see that these strategy should be followed. But in Bangladesh, I don't find I don't find that really uh, lots of entrepreneurs are following this. Yes, some good uh, entrepreneurs, large entrepreneurs, use rich entrepreneurs, they're following this. But we have millions and millions of entrepreneurs who are started in the Department of Finance, Marketing, Accounting, and they are not using their uh, education in the right field. And many cases, they fail. They, many cases, they did achieve superior profitability. Yes, they have profit, they are happy with this, but we are the student of strategic management. Uh, we look for superior profitability. The first one, so simple, aggressive construction of efficient scale facilities, because we know that economies of scale means you have to produce up to a certain level that will ensure per unit cost will be Uh, minimum, sir. Will be minimum. So it's up to a certain level. If you cross that level, then again, your per unit cost will increase. The second one, vigorous pursuit of cost reductions from experience. So experience will never come without a study, without case study, without listening to senior managers without listening to successful entrepreneurs. So vigorous pursuit of cost reduction from experience. And, and, and it's possible. You see that I have used the example of two friends and one really achieved it. How he achieved? It's his no, experience. Knowledge. Yes, experience. He studied a lot. And you can also go ahead with tight cost and overhead control. And in Bangladesh, most of the cases, we try to follow the third one. And that's where lots of problems always available in the organization because salary card, wages card, facilities card, and that should be not the best way. You should come through all the process, aggressive construction of efficient scale facilities, vigorous pursuit of cost reduction from experience, then go for cost reduction, go for waste minimization, tight cost and overhead control. Uh, yes, then, then you can control the electric bill, gas bill, uh, stationary uh, cost, uh, then you can go. But if you just rely on tight cost and overhead control, it's really difficult. And then avoidance of marginal customer accounts. Avoidance of marginal customer accounts means that uh, uh, you have to spend lots of money to get one customer. Mm -hmm. What will you do? Do you invest lots of money for one customer? No, sir. No, so, sir. so where you will try to reach? You will try to reach on those place, on those uh, market segment where you have to spend less and you can cover maximum customers. This is called avoid of avoidance of marginal customer accounts. Marginal means uh, customers are less, uh, you have to spend a lot. And then cost minimization in all activities in the firm's value chain, that is inbound logistics, outbound logistics, operations, you have administration, you have research and development. Uh, so there are uh, two different functions. So you can have access to each and every functions to minimize your cost. Now, cost leadership requests, learning to lower cost through experience, the experience curve. Can you remember the experience curve? Have you started the experience curve earlier? Experience curve from economics? No? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, obviously. So what we know with experience, you need cost of production process decline as output increases. So you see that that is not only the quantity. Same time, experience. And this is strategy requires competitive parity. Competitive parity. Have you started 
anything known as parity? Sir, parity theory uh, for exchange rate. And so, so uh, you start the purchasing power parity, maybe, yeah? Yes, sir. Interest rate parity. And this is competitive parity. You have to try to match your strategies uh, with your competitors. Competitive parity. Uh, if your quality uh, uh, become uh, or fluctuate a little, uh, then really uh, it's, it's risky. So what it says, it says on par, on par with competitors with respect to low cost differentiation, segmentation, so competitive parity means what uh, we can say, at least your position should be nearest. Yes, you are compromising cost. You are trying to uh, make cost affordable to customers, but should not compromise in a way that your position will decline. So what it is, competitive parity means try to, uh, uh, try to stay uh, at least uh, the nearest level or equal. Now, improving competitive position, improving competitive position. Again and again, we are following quarter five forces model and overall low cost position and overall low cost position. How can you improve your competitive position? There are specific guidelines protect the farm against rivalry from competitors, protect the farm against powerful bias. You see that provides more flexibility to cope with demand from powerful suppliers who want to increase input cost, provide substantial entry barriers due to economies of the scale and cost advantages, puts the farm in a favorable position with respect to substitute products various straight strategies given to you. So if you really want to improve your competitive position, you can follow all these five points relevant to four or five forces. There are some pitfalls of cost leadership. What do you mean by pitfalls? Sir, so drawbacks. Drawbacks. And the first drawback you see that too much, too much focus on one or a few value chain activities may compromise the quality. You are focusing, that's all right. You are trying to reduce your cost. You want to become a cost leader. Cost leader means not that your product should be cheapest. Cost leader means not that your product uh, will be uh, cheapest. Cost leadership means your product price will be affordable. Consumers will not feel heavy, will not feel burden to buy your product or services. So if you focus on one or two areas to reduce cost, and obviously uh, that will be a compromising one. Increasing the cost of the inputs on which the advantage is based. The strategy is limited, uh, imitated too easily. Imitated means you can copy this. So if you take and others copy the same strategy. So you see that today you reduce your price because you have some specific strategy. Tomorrow, another competitor will also follow you. Draw back. So that's why you have to be a strategic. And that's, that's, that's the point where you have to focus that try to become a cost leader at the time of procuring your raw materials at the time of setting inbound logistics, at the time of operations, not at the time of fixing the sale price. A lack of parity on differentiation. So what we say, we say that you have to try to achieve parity. At least you have to stay nearest to your competitors. So if you can't, if you can't differentiate uh, at the level of your competitors, then obviously low cost leadership will not work. And low cost leadership always reduce flexibility. You see the low cost television, very big screen, but features, 
really not good you cannot use those television for multitasking so these way low cost leadership reduced flexibility and obsolescence of the basis of a cost advantage yeah low cost product will not survive long time is it possible it's not possible now the second one what it is differentiation of uh, differentiation you can differentiate in many ways Numeration spaces. Differentiation, you, you can form in many ways. You can differentiate your brand image through brand image, through prestige, through using sophisticated artificial intelligent technology. You can innovate. Most of the companies nowadays, they're innovating. You can incorporate features. You can change customer service quality and pattern. You can build use supply chain network so that nobody can compete with you. You are faster than anybody. Your product reach to the customers. It's just like a jet, just like rocket. So you see that in many ways you can differentiate. So for differentiation, you have to remember one, you have a cost parity. Yes, you have a good features because you have gone through differentiation, but same time, if your product price increases a lot compared to your competitors, can you survive? No, sir. No, no sir. So that's why you have to maintain cost parity. At least you have to, yes, good features, but try to maintain the price. So uh, price to match with your competitors. You can go for differentiation in many other ways. It's called integration of multiple points along the value chain. Integration of multiple points. What are the points? Superior material handling operations to minimize damage. So if you have a, a, a factory, if you have a plant, or if you have a lab uh, that is uh, machine driven, that is uh, robot driven, uh, artificial intelligent uh, machines are there. So it's it's superior material handling operations to minimize damage. Uh, some robotic crane are there, uh, which stage is zero. And if you same time follow the human to move your raw materials from one place to another place, you use chance to uh, uh, increase with stage. Accurate and responsive order processing. Uh, is still Bangladesh is struggling with this. So many giant e-commerce site we have, uh, we are really hopeful to grow like America and Europe because the e-market is booming, but same time, very frustrating scenario we have. That is the number two, accurate and responsive order processing. The government is keen about digital Bangladesh. They are providing a lot of support, internet connection, low cost components. You can import computer uh, technologies without tax. Use facilities are there. So how can I explain? It's a problem of our talent or it's a problem of our habit. We have world most expensive softwares and apps. Anytime you can buy it, but it's still our e-commerce site. They are unable to take order accurately and response accurately. I send our national dress Lungi from Chittagong to England. It takes 72 hours. Sorry, not, 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 uh, I, I didn't send my parent, my father and mother. They sent Lungi from Chittagong to England through DL. And it takes only 72 hours to reach those lungi at my house in England. And our e-commerce sites, giant e-commerce sites in Bangladesh, they are taking order, processing order, and delivering order from Dhaka to Chittagong, city to city. It takes seven days, eight days, even sometimes 10 days. And if the companies like Evely, 
then it takes three months to six months. So another important point is accurate and responsive order processing. Even our small entrepreneurs, uh, corona time entrepreneurs, their student or their business graduates or the, uh, have started economic statistics and so many courses, they are also unable to take order accurately and response accurately. Some are Facebook sellers that are available here. That don't the can't respond that they, they don't respond on time. Personal relationship with key customers. Now it is customer relationship management is a science. It is a software. Personal relationship with key customers. It is a study. It is a subject matter of doing MSc masters. Customer relationship management. So why customer relationship management? Because continuously the customer's choices, preferences are changing. Every second, every minute we are changing. We customers are changing. So organization need to understand the change and they need to incorporate the features, the qualities as per the change of our taste and preference. And it's impossible without support of customer relationship management. How is smart? some customer relationship management. If you deposit in a bank, they will give you feedback through phone, they will give you feedback through SMS, they will give you feedback through email. They are using multi-platform to reply that you have deposited the money. Yes, you rightly deposited the money. They are confirming through different platform. So they're starting the same way. If you call to a call center, they will just ask you, uh, is it the right number that uh, uh, you registered here? So if you say, yes, same number, then they just enter into the website. They found who you are, who, uh, what information uh, uh, they have about you. They know your preferences, choices, even your behavior, whether you are an angry customer or you are a loyal customer, all information available there is because they have exercised very good personal relationship with key customers. So when key customers form, the service is ready. Rapid response to customer service request is still Bangladeshi companies are struggling to do this, but it's, you see that it's 21st century. Rapid response required. So we have rapid response some cases at the time of selling our products. Once sold and then slow response to customer service request. We should not do this. So you can exercise differentiation along several different dimensions at once. That's what I mentioned. Packaging, color, fragrance, quality. So it's called several different dimensions. You can go for differentiation. So here, how can you improve competitive position? Again, some straight suggestion. Create higher entry barriers due to customer loyalty. Higher entry barriers so that your competitor cannot imitate your feature. If it's so simple, anybody can imitate it. Anybody can copy this. So create, try to create higher entry barriers, make it difficult. I found this kind of people in many places, even a student. They say, I want to write in a way, I want to present in a way today, the total presentation will be difficult. You see, our students are like this, that I want to present in a way that the quality will be changed and the presentation will be difficult for all other students. I want to do election in a way I will win the election, but I will make it so difficult for my competitors to get vote from voters. I will convince them in a way that I will make the whole process difficult. I will develop a product and I will provide those features in a product that that will survive at least 10 years. 
it's called create higher entry barriers due to customer land provide higher margins that enable the firm to deal with supplier power ensure superior profitability superior profitability means you are the giant you have enough money to deal with your supplier power try to reduce buyer power because buyers lack suitable alternatives so how can you reduce this it's required research and development buyers are powerful so many cases so how can you reduce buyer power you need to start on this establishes customer loyalty enhance less threat from substitute try it it's better it's better you are a business student you are the student of department of finance and we though we are criticizing ourselves in the classroom we teacher and we student all the negative points we are discussing ourselves here but you see you teachers they have used brand image in the market our students they have used brand image in the market and 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 that gives us some advantages in the market so you guys you are the follower of your faculties you are the follower of your elder brothers go ahead establish your name either through social platform facebook youtube twitter linkedin or through any research work or through any other brand like monju speaker do something establish customer loyalty even some loyal followers may, uh, you may you may develop if you are a political leader establish your customer loyalty enhance less threat from substitute that will give you a what it's called that will give you a i can't find the right word there are also some pitfalls of differentiation what are the pitfalls uniqueness that is not valuable huh you 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 invest a lot of money the research and development team works and later yes you have unique feature but you see that the unique features is not that much valuable then it's a problem too much differentiation too much always bad too much love and affection not good too much income too much expenditure uh, 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 too much is always uh, really a problem so too much differentiation uh, will will demotivate people to buy the product too high a price premium differentiation that is easily imitated dilution of brand identification through product line extension you have more product line because you are going for adapting new features so more product line means dilution of brand identification you know that soft drinks so one company has four five different brands and once one brand has bad reputation or one type of soft drink has bad reputation automatically other brand affected within the same company i'm not mentioning the name here because we are recording this perception of differentiation may vary between buyers and sellers that should be pointed out the third one is focus and focus strategy is segmented strategy narrowing the market narrowing the uh, of customers so is based on the choice of a narrow competitive scope within an industry a firm selects a segment or group dot 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 what we have covered so i am here a focus strategy has two variants you see that what i mentioned you can go for cost focus you can go for differentiation focus as well so where you are focusing on you want to minimize cost you want to make your product affordable to everybody or you want to differentiate How can you improve competitive position?
straight suggestion, create higher entry barriers due to cost leadership or differentiation or both can provide higher margins that enable the firm to deal with supplier power. A very similar, reduces buyer power because the firm provides So reduces buyer power because the firm provides a specialized products or services and focus niches. Niches means network. It's a synonym. Why niches? It's, it's a network like net. Network like fishing net. Are less vulnerable to substitute. So these are very straight uh, suggestions. Obviously, pitfalls are there. What are the pitfalls? Erosion of cost advantages within the narrow segment. You see, when the segment is narrow, it's really difficult to get the benefit of economies of scale. What do you think? When the segment is narrow, it's really easy to get the benefit yes. of. So no, sir. So, so that case is you have a problem of erosion of cost advantages. Highly focused products and services are is still subject to competition from new entrants and from imitation. Repeating uh, our drawbacks. Focusers can become too focused to satisfy buyer needs. When too focused, and if you can't handle Creating satisfaction among customers, it's really so tough job. We need to be careful so that we can make really balanced, we can follow really balanced strategies. 